Hi, Sophia. Can Hi. you introduce us to this cockatoo? Yes, this is Petey. He's a lesser sulfur crested cockatoo, like you said, and he is 24 years old. And uh, lesser sulfur crested are, are a smaller size cockatoo. They're a little bigger than a Goffin's cockatoo, but uh, definitely smaller than an umbrella or a Moroccan cockatoo. Got it. Um, what is Petey's gender? Do we know? Petey is a male. And in cockatoos, you know that by looking at their eye, their iris color on their eye. Oh. So in male cockatoos, the, the pupil and the iris are both black. And so when you look at their eye, it's hard to distinguish the pupil from the iris. I in, see. A, in a female, it's either brownish or reddish, the iris of the oh, eye. Okay. But yeah, not not all parrots are sexually dimorphic, but some that's interesting. Cockatoos, you can tell by looking at them. Which you would, um, I would never have known unless somebody told me. <laughs> I wouldn't have noticed. Yeah. <laughs> that's very subtle, but it seems like the kind of thing that once you know it, you just start looking and seeing like, aha, I can tell this. That's neat. Um, yes. Do we know how old Petey is? Yes, he's 24 years old. And before... I said that he's a smaller size cockatoo and that's true. But as mm -hmm. far as his weight, as you can see in the video on the, each side above his legs, he's very, very overweight. So he, yes. uh, <laughs> we're not going by weight. We're going on mm -hmm. how big he should be. <laughs> I'm not sure how much he weighs right now. Got it. But too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, is Petey tame? Oh, here comes a finger. So yes, to some degree yes. at least. He is, he's quite tame. He, he, that's a, a female hand of a female human right there, mm -hmm. but he very much prefers his humans to be male. He loves male humans. Got it. Um, my next question is, do we know if Petey is good with children? Um, if he Petey has a strong sexual, pref well, not sexual, but gender preference in humans, um, I'm, I'm sure he also has strong feelings. It's not, other. you know, um, so he, he would love for children to talk to him when he was in his cage and mm -hmm. to interact with him and maybe sing to him. Uh, he loves attention, but mm -hmm. he, he has a pretty big beak and probably most children would not be able to handle him safely. Yeah, probably dangerous in a lot of situations, so yeah. It could be, so we wouldn't recommend it. Got it. Um, as a reminder to our audience, you can type any questions about PD in the Q&A in Zoom or in the video chat on Facebook, and Sophia and I will do our best to answer them. Um, you did mention PD's weight. Um, weight. What does P PD eat? Well, PD uh, was eating a really high fat diet in the past, but now, mm. He is eating pellets and he eats a Zupreme fruit blend pellets and he has sampled a Harrison's pellet and uh, he will eat fruits and vegetables as long as you're holding them for him. And <laughs> we're going to show that later on in the video. He doesn't have any interest in it if you're not holding it. So uh, he's mm. definitely used to a lot of attention. Got it. Um, what are some of Petey's typical behaviors? Uh, it looked like he was kind of shouting there in the last video clip right you know he's a cockatoo so he can be loud um definitely so that he was vocalizing in that um mm -hmm. but he he if he wants your attention he's going to be loud he mm -hmm. his previous owner who rescued him from a garage um had him for 20 years and he was with him all the time so mm -hmm. he's used to being with his human a lot and uh it, if he gets what he wants, then he's not going to be as loud. Mm -hmm. I can see it looks like he's definitely used to really interacting. He's paying a lot of attention to the person he's with there. Yes, um, he used to uh, ride around on the wheelchair with his previous owner. Oh, so wow. He's used to going all over the place with him. Mm -hmm. um, how big is Petey's cage or how big is a good size of cage? for a, a cockatoo of his size? Um, probably, I mean, we always say that the biggest cage um, that 
that fits is the best cage, but the bar size is the main factor. So I mm -hmm. think I don't have the exact dimensions, but I believe at least a 30 inch wide cage and the dimension on the bar spacing is probably about three quarter inch. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if someone has specific questions about that, we can definitely get that information to you if you're looking to adopt PD or another cockatoo. Um, we do have an audience question about PD. Has PD had blood work, um, i.e., how are his stats, like liver function and such? And those are the, we may not have the answer right off hand, but um, those are really good questions for a bird who's not had a great diet previously. So he saw the vet um, in January uh, at an avian vet, and mm -hmm. he looked pretty good other than weight loss. He just needs to um, lose some weight. Mm -hmm. And they took off uh, the metal band on his leg because it was too tight. Ah, okay. All right. So a, a recent good checkup. That's great to hear. Um, how, um, how did Petey come to Mickaboo? So Petey came to Mikabu because his owner has some mobility issues of his own and medical problems. And mm -hmm. so he absolutely adores Petey and uh, Petey's, you know, where Petey is, is really important to him. He, he, he spent 20 years with Petey and Ava, they love each other, but mm -hmm. um, his medical, his medical was just too much to be able to be mobile enough to take care of the bird any longer. Mm -hmm. That's that's too bad, but it is the kind of reason why some birds do come to make a booth. So um, yes. a, a very real thing that happens with long lived birds and uh, the unanticipated things that happen in human lives. There, yeah, um, it's it's yeah. very sad, but he does uh, still um, uh, get a few updates on PD, so he uh, knows PD is thing. okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you know, like, what, what are we seeing here? What's going on? It looks like the person's trying to, like, they're, like, they're tapping on the cage. Is this trying so to they're get trying to get step back Petey. over? So, uh, that, uh, he's stepping up there because it's a male, a human, mm -hmm. a male human. So he loves him. Um, he'll get down on the ground and walk over to find his male human as well. And he mm -hmm. doesn't want to get off. So he's saying, he's saying, um, you know, I yeah. want to stay here. Why would I want to? And the, the male human is very gently saying, tapping the cage and saying, step up, which probably isn't going to work because Petey mm -hmm. likes where he is right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the, the uh, good thing and the challenge of a bird that's really oriented to their humans right here. So yeah, he looks very happy now getting, getting his uh, cheeks scratched and everything. Yes, um, he's, he's very social, very social. <laughs> um, we do have a, um, a little bit of information here. Um, uh, we've checked and uh, PD's current cage is 30 inches wide with five eighths inch bar spacing, but that's definitely on the smaller side for a cockatoo and it would be nicer, better for him to have a larger cage. Um, another audience question. Does he get along with animals? Um, and specifically, the person asking has two cats. I'm not aware of any history he has with um, other animals. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you do need to be careful since he walks everywhere. He walks on the floor. So mm -hmm. um, it could be dangerous for him in a house with cats. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, obviously the cat's personality might come into play, but generally I would think it would be not safe since he walks on the ground. Yeah. You would need to have a stringent plan for how you're going to keep the, um, the cats and the bird apart. Exactly. Um, that's true. Yeah. He has been around other birds, however, mm -hmm. but, but not any other animals uh, for years that Got we're it. aware of. Okay. Um, another audience question, um, this one coming in from Facebook, thanks. Um, how does he do with nails and wing maintenance? I think wing maintenance probably means clipping and I don't believe his wings are clipped. Um, that's not something we generally advise unless there's a specific reason. Um, so um, 
so his his nails were trimmed when he came into McVoo by the foster parent um, in a towel uh, mm -hmm. with two people. Uh, he didn't like it, but I mean, it's doable. Mr. Towel mm -hmm. held mm -hmm. him in Mr. Towel. And mm -hmm. he doesn't need wing clips because he doesn't fly. So his wings do not need to be clipped. Yeah. Okay. Um, does Petey need any special care? Uh, the special care he needs is just um, maybe somebody that wants to, to dance with him a lot because he needs some exercise to lose those extra pounds, just like mm. a lot of mm -hmm. Americans do. So yes. maybe, uh, you know, <laughs> I know that I could use the, use the, I could dance all day with Petey and that would help me <laughs> too. Mm -hmm. So we all need to get moving. So that would be a good way. He loves to dance and he's interacting with you. So he, he loves that. And um, of course you don't want to give him a lot of junk food. We want to want him to eat uh, a pellets and probably a small amount of pellets and mm -hmm. vegetables, lots of vegetables and a little bit of fruit because fruit is sugary. <laughs> so we want to, and not a lot of nuts, just, an occasional treat. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Um, but he does like broccoli. Just want to add that. He loves broccoli. Oh, cool. So there's hope. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. We are all a work in progress, including Petey's diet. Exactly. Um, we are just about out of time. But before we wrap up, are there any last things you'd like to tell us about Petey? Well, the cutest the cutest thing about Petey, he was a, a star when we went to the animal shelter to do an event. Mm -hmm. He just, everybody loved Petey. He danced. There was a little video earlier. That's a volunteer at the shelter and actually a Mickaboo volunteer too, that just mm -hmm. met Petey that day. And he just, he just hang on him all day and danced and talked up a storm with, I love ah, you, here. Petey. Hi, Petey. And mm -hmm. so right here, here you go. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> he was just, everybody loved Petey. So he was he was the star of the show. Oh yeah, he the that is a happy human and a very happy bird. And he does talk a little. He talks and uh, dances, so he's a very cute bird. Very very cute. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sophia, for introducing us to Petey.